this is a EGR actuator and this is one of the most problematic components of diesel engines. EGR actuators are known to fail over the time but um, today we're going to talk about them. EGR actuators are one of the most important components for emissions. The reason why you have an EGR actuator on your diesel truck or any car in particular is because emissions. In this case, this EGR actuator is bad and the location of EGR actuators vary depending on the years. As for example, if you have a 2015, you're gonna have it in this location. If you have a 2013 or lower, you have, you're gonna have it in this location. But if you have a 2017 and up, you're gonna have it in this location. So this is only the 15 engines DD13s are going to be kind of similar and DD16s are going to be almost the same as DD15s. But why EGR actuators go bad? Well, that is the question that you probably wonder yourself. Well, for this, I have this EGR actuator right here. One of the main reasons why an EGR actuator goes bad is simply because it doesn't move. It's very hard to move. A normal, a conventional, or a functional EGR actuator has to be able to move left and right with no opposition or very low opposition. Since the EGR valve is connected to it, probably you're gonna have some drag to it, but it's gonna be very minimal. But if you are not able to move your EGR actuator with your fingers, that means then this EGR actuator is bad. Another reason why the EGR actuator goes bad, wiring. In this case, the wiring of the EGR actuator itself is not the one that goes bad. What really goes bad is the wiring then connects to the EGR actuator, which is the engine harness. In this case, this is the plug that connects to the EGR actuator itself. So, you can see wiring exposed and it wears over the time causing many type of issues referring to EGR actuator problems, EGR actuator cuts and when the EGR actuator fails there are many problems that you are going to get. One of the problems you get when the, this component fails is not region functions the region is going to be completely disabled. Why? Because the EGR actuator is part of the region. It needs the EGR actuator, a functional EGR actuator, to be able to complete a full regeneration. The jailbreak is not going to work because the jailbreak is controlled by the EGR actuator. And another reason, check engine lights on, not power. So when you get a check engine light on, usually the computer sends uh, then there is a problem with the component, specifically in this case, EGR actuator, and it's going to disable a specific amount of power to prevent failure to other components. So when the EGR actuator sticks close, the way this one is, let's say this one is stick in a position that is close, this is going to boost the intake manifold, which means then the computer is not going to be able to control the amount of turbo pressure then you are requiring when the engine is or the vehicle is running a specific um, load. Um, in some trucks like 2018 or newer, the EGR actuator is used as a waste gate. So if the EGR actuator is not functional, the turbo is not going to ha have its function completely because the EGR actuator is not moving left or right, which means open and close. But it seems more complicated than it looks. The EGR actuator is a big and an important component for DD15 engines. No most people pay attention to this component because it's a component then nobody knows about it and nobody cares about the functionality of it. But it is not just an actuator. It has more functions than just opening and closing a EGR or 
increasing the turbo pressure. So, if you wonder how a ER actuator works, pretty simple, left and right, left and right. Right means that it's gonna close the EGR valve, and left means that it's gonna open the EGR valve. In some occasions, the computer will require just a specific amount of uh, opening from the EGR actuator, but that's gonna, con that's gonna be controlled based on the operation of the engine. It's pretty simple. So, um, pretty much this is all I wanted to talk about EGR actuators. Science, there is no much information about this component and it's a very important component. And if you wonder what kind of fault cause you're gonna get, well, there are too many fault cause to actually explain them, but one of the most common ones are the 2971, if I am correctly, if I remember that correctly. Anyway, this is all I have for you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask on the comment section below. If you wanna see different content that I'm doing, go to Instagram and look for me, Francisco Mana YouTube. There you're gonna find different things that I'm doing. Also, if you wanna send support to the channel, just check the description of the video where I have details how to send support to the channel. So I can make videos like this explaining how something works. So you understand how this is working and how to repair it. Subscribe, like the video, share it, and thank you for watching.